knows everyone knows how to create the vendor how to create the vendor you know and how to create the customers you people knows and uh, how to post customer invoice so you people knows okay you people knows this one also how to post the customer invoice and how to post the vendor invoice everyone knows okay and how to post the vendor payment very good and how to post the customer payment excellent so up to here anyone any doubts up to here anyone but if you have any doubts up to here like vendor creation vendor customer creation customer invoice posting vendor invoice posting vendor payment and customer payment up to here this is the normal accounting entries uh like uh, wherever you learn sap fico up to here everyone is explained but once again i can create here let's see and enjoy everyone knows how to create the vendor how to post the vendor invoice how to post the customer invoice how to give the vendor like payment and customer payment everyone knows but once again you can see and enjoy okay is this clear guys are able to i mean are you understand what i am telling yes sir yeah so let's create vendor master let's create vendor master <clears throat> let's create vendor master go to sap are krishna na sorry guys i forgot to start <clears throat> so before going to this even here i am attaching like uh, this uh, format second once again i am sending this configuration document also guys now i am sending the format ebrs format please check it out did you receive ebrs format up document format i will explain anyway receive mahesh received a yes and configuration document also i am sending once again Okay. Yeah. Received, ah? Huh? Yeah. You Sorry, but uh, still not received. Uh, where you are sending? Ah, uh, wait uh, one second, ah. Huh? Please wait. Okay, okay. I mean, how you joined in the class? Ah, uh, like uh, we have one WhatsApp group, like the uh, P five. No, are you joined mobile or laptop? A uh, mobile only. Why you joined mobile? How you see uh, small small radio buttons and all? I can manage it. Everyone, because, uh, please go on mute immediately. Everyone, did you receive the document, guys? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Very good.
<clears throat> yeah, everyone. Uh, let's create this one, guys. Let's create the customer and vendor. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, Everyone, let's create the vendor master. Let's create the vendor master. Everyone knows up to here. I'm doing once again like vendor creation, customer creation, vendor invoice posting, customer invoice posting, vendor payment and customer payment. Once again, I'm doing. Let's see and enjoy. Okay, let's see and enjoy. Up to here. Then here, these two steps you people want to take care. You people want to take care. Okay. Yeah. So let's create this. Let's create this, everyone. Go to SAP. Enter the T code FK01. FK01 to create the vendor. And company code FM10. Then, uh, like uh, accounts group FMDG. Press enter. And vendor name, example vendor name, let's take any vendor name. Huh? Example, uh, BRS underscore V private limited. This is vendor name, BRS V underscore private limited. Example, BRPL, location at Tamir Pet. House number 7878 or 715000 78 Hyderabad, country India, region 01. Then you can specify all the post box number, postal code, or whatever. Then after that, what can I do? Anyone? Anyone? What can I do, guys? Enter, enter. Uh, press enter button in the keyboard. Then enter again. Here you want to maintain vendor bank details. What you people want to maintain here? Here you need to maintain vendor bank details. In the vendor master data, you want to maintain vendor bank details. In the customer master data, you want to maintain customer bank details. Okay. In the house bank, in the house bank, you want to maintain our company bank details. Okay. So country India IN bank key nothing but IFSC code. Let's take any bank. Huh? Example Canara one two uh, one two bank bank account number bank account number Canara bank. How many numbers? Maybe eleven numbers. I think one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven. Then account holder. Account holder means vendor name. Account holder means vendor name. Then click on your bank data. So here you want to maintain vendor bank address. Example bank name. Example let it be Canara Bank. Region 01. Street. Example BR Street and city hyderabad branch br branch and uh, here shift code you can maintain any shift code example can one two one three one four any number for example your client will be give you vendor details based on your client information you want to create so here you can enter bank contact number zero four zero one two three seven six five four like that then click on your okay click on your okay and press enter again enter then here reconciliation account and domestic vendors short key zero one two cash management group a1 And press enter, enter, 
example terms of payment triple zero one and payment method c and t then click on your okay c means check payment t means bank transfer press enter 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 and save brs underscore v private limited okay so this is the process of you want to create the vendor master <clears throat> then one more one more guys i need to create customer master the next one is called i need to create customer master like how to create the customer master t code is called fd01 fd01 <clears throat> let it be go to fd01 everyone go to fd01 press enter fd01 press enter select here your accounts group customer accounts group example fm right your company code is called fm fm domestic customer group then company code click on your ok then customer name example brs underscore c c bullet customer private limited okay i'm making as a like this example uh, example bspl address sr nagar house number 3412 530079 hyderabad country india region 01 and here you can enter all the details like that like this so before going to click on your company code first you can go to payment transaction here you can go to payment transaction here you want to maintain customer bank details customer bank details you have to maintain so example country india bank key customer bank details customer bank address customer bank ifsc code that details you want to maintain example here icici uh, 67543 account number uh, 1234 like that how many 1234567891011 then account holder brs underscore c private limited then click on your bank data then here you can enter customer bank address example uh, icici region 01 street ic street ic street city hyderabad branch ic branch Shift code ICICI uh, 78654, whatever you can enter. Contact number 040451234, like that. Then click on here. Okay. Contact number, mobile number or phone number, like that. Click on here. Okay. So now, after that, click on your company code. Then reconciliation account domestic customer then short key then 0 31 customer number C cash management a1 then payment transaction terms of payment triple zero one and press enter and save press enter and save okay the next one next one everyone knows next one create customer invoice and sorry post customer invoice post vendor invoice post customer invoice and post vendor invoice so customer invoice anyone what is the accounting entry 
example in the fb70 what is the accounting entry customer account data to income is this correct guys customer account data to income even sales also income purchases purchase purchases is called expenses sales is called in sorry purchases is called expenses sales is called income for example if i post customer invoice customer account data to income any income any even sales also one of the income okay so go to fb70 go to fb70 press enter then select your customer then customer uh, where is this check the company code before going is this not your company code right click on your comp change the company code fm10 and let's take the customer and brs underscore c customer and uh, as usual document date posting date whatever date you want okay so here being customer invoice posting now uh, here income let's take any income oh, okay so i'm taking commission received so here you can take how much amount example it's a customer right i'm taking one lakh twenty thousand one lakh twenty thousand use tap 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 business area tap 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 profit center press enter commission received okay and copy this amount control c paste it here press enter then click on your simulate and post so debit is the customer credit is the income customer account data to income any income Yeah. And uh, let's post vendor invoice, guys. Let's post vendor invoice. Everyone, are you following, guys? Everyone knows now. Any doubts? No, sir, it's clear. Yeah. <clears throat> let's post vendor invoice. Go to FB60 and post vendor invoice. So, here, what is the accounting entry will come? Expenses account data to vendor. Expenses means purchases also one of the expenses. Any expenses you can take. Expenses account data to vendor. So let's post the like uh, vendor invoice. Enter. Then let's check the company code first and change the company code. FM10. Then vendor, who is the vendor? BRS underscore V, right? BRS underscore V. Mm, where is that? Yeah. BRS underscore V. Then the document date, posting date, whatever date you want. Then uh, being vendor invoice post. Sorry, vendor invoice or customer? Vendor. Any text, any description, exact text. Last time text we taken wrong. Huh? Correct only. So here you can take any expenses, guys. So now I'm taking commission paid. Any expenses? You can take any expenses. Example, I'm taking commission paid. Okay. And here amount is called uh, one lakh. Rupees. Amount is called one lakh. And use tap 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 business area. Tap, 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 tap. 
profit center press enter and copy this amount control c and paste it here press enter then click on your simulate and post so click on your simulate so what is the accounting entry 40 means debit 31 means credit so expenses account data to vendor expenses account data to vendor then click on your post so go to document and display if you want to see go to document and display okay everyone now now everyone concentrate here let's post vendor payment let's post vendor payment so what is the vendor payment how to post the vendor payment f-53 go to f-53 f-53 press enter let's document date posting date whatever date you want you can take then reference vendor payment then here bank account means you can take outgoing payment outgoing payment click on your browse press enter outgoing payment hdfc outgoing payment or whatever that is that hdfc outgoing payment outgoing. Huh? sorry sir you say something you, you, do you have any doubt, sir? Do you have any doubt? Uh, no, sir. I already created in the Access Bank in the house banking time. Oh, very good. Very good. Click on your rows. Very good. Thank you for reminding. Press enter Access Bank. Now, where is that? Ah, here. Very good. Thank you. Double two double zero five one. Ah, very good. Very good. Thank you. Let's take the Access Bank uh, outgoing payment. Then amount is called one lakh. Thank you. Thank you for reminding. And you tap, 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 tap. Then here, vendor account. So vendor, BRS underscore V. And click on here, process open item. Process open item. Then 1 lakh is the vendor invoice. 1 lakh is the payment. Finally, it's become zero. Now click on here, post. Go to document and display like this. So what is the accounting entry? Uh, vendor account data to outgoing payment. Vendor account data to outgoing payment. 25 means debit, 50 means credit like this. Now let's post the customer invoice. Let's post the customer invoice. Everyone, concentrate here everyone. Be careful. Huh? Go to F-28. Press enter and let's take document date, posting date, whatever date you want. Then customer payment. Then here access bank incoming payment. Access bank incoming payment. Then amount is called one lakh twenty thousand. Use tap tap tap. Tap, tap, tap. So here uh, you can take customer BRS underscore C. Then click on your process open item. Then 1 lakh 20,000, 1 lakh 20,000. It's become zero and post. Go to document and display. Okay. Everyone, everyone, concentrate here, everyone. I will tell you one point, actually. Try to understand here. Let's open the Excel. Huh? Everyone, in Access Bank, Access Bank, opening balance. Opening balance means which balance? In the SAP, main bank account. Main bank account. Opening balances now it's become a zero. There is no opening balances. 
I did not post any amount in the main bank account directly. Now, now, example, incoming payment. Incoming payment, how much I posted? 1,20,000. Then outgoing payment. Outgoing payment. How much? It's a 1 lakh. So now how much closing balance will come? 20,000. Closing balance. Closing balance means main bank account. This month closing balance is next month opening balance. Like that. So 20,000 is my closing balance. Please keep it on your mind. Okay. My closing balance. Okay. So this is the phenomenon. Everyone. Let's open the document actually. Let's open the document. Which document? Please note it down guys. Sometimes interviewer will ask this. Explain about format. EBRS format. Everyone, please note it down. Please note it down guys. Uh, what we called semicolon, uh, colon, right? Colon 20 colon. This is the standard format, global standard format. It is global standard format. It is please note it down. Colon 20 colon is equal to means statement date. What do you want to take here? Statement date bank statement date but in the real time this document will come from the bank guys colon 20 colon means bank statement date bank statement date colon 25 colon is equal to bank account number bank account number and colon 28c colon bank statement number Colon 60 F colon. Colon 60 F colon. Means opening balance. Is equal to opening balance. Colon 60 F colon means like uh, opening balance. You can buy hard it guys. Interviewer will ask. Explain about uh, <coughs> farm it. EBRS farm it they will ask. Okay. Colon sixty one colon. Colon sixty one colon. Colon sixty one colon. Incoming payment and outgoing payment. Incoming payment and outgoing payment. And colon 86 colon reference number reference number reference number for example guys um, if you transfer any bank transfer online transfer UTI number will generate it now 
So that number you want to maintain here in the real time. Uh, that will come automatically. Otherwise, check number will come like that. That type of reference numbers. Colon 68 colon reference number. So UTI means IFRS. Uh, if you transfer any amount, ma'am, one UTI number will going to generate. Maybe you can you you transfer amount in even phone pay and Google Pay also. So one yeah, you need transaction code something. Uh -huh. You need to transaction identification. Uh, code. Yeah, very good, very good, very good. Even later you can check it, ma'am. Actually, huh? If you somewhere you can send some amount to anyone. Sorry, UTR, not UTI. It's a UTR actually. UTR number will going to generate every transaction. Every transaction UTR. You can send some amount to anyone, ten rupees or fifty rupees. Then you can check one UTR number will going to generate. Even you could if you transfer bank transfer also UTR number will generate. If you see the check, you can maintain the check. Any reference number now. Bank will update any reference number here. Okay. Then one more, one more noted down, man. Colon 62, colon 62 F colon. Colon 62 F colon. Colon 62 F colon means closing balance. Can anyone please read what you noted in case of any mistake I can correct it? Sir, two points missing, sir. Madam? Two points missing here. 61 after 86, then 61 and 86. This last two points. I already said you, ma'am. 16, 61, 61. you said and again 61, 86 you didn't say so directly you said 62 yeah. the same like both the incoming or incoming these are same okay. and outgoing these are same. Okay. Okay, sir. incoming and outgoing yeah. okay. Okay, please read please read one by one ma'am in case of any okay okay ma'am colon 20 colon bank statement date colon 25 colon Bank state bank account number colon 28c colon bank statement number colon 60f colon opening balance colon 61 colon incoming payment and outgoing payment. Is it correct? Ante yeah. Okay. And colon 86 colon reference number. Example UTR number. Colon 62f colon closing balance. That's it. Oh, okay, sir. Everyone, concentrate here, guys. Concentrate here. Example statement uh, colon 20 colon uh, bank statement date. So, what is the date today? Example, what is the date today? Here, first one is called year. First one, year 2022. First one, year. This is the year 2022. The next one is called month. 12th month the next one is called date which date today 30th 30th December Thirty. so this is the date guys 2022 12th month date date and the bank account number where I can get this bank account number guys house bank did you remember same bank account number we maintain in the house bank. Same bank account number we maintain in the configuration MT940 format. Same bank account number you want to maintain in the document. So where we will get in the house bank. In the house bank you will get. And go to example go to F512.
and uh, give it here. And uh, let's take Axis Bank, right? So this is the account number. This is the account number. Okay. Now bank statement, uh, uh, bank account, I mean bank statement number. You can give any number. Okay, I'm giving uh, eight. Then everyone, everyone. Colon 60F colon. Means it is an opening balance actually. It's an opening balance. Everyone. It's C means credit. Then uh, actually here you can enter everyone. Concentrate here. First two digit is the year. Year 2022. Then uh, second two digit is the month. Third two digit is the date. Example everyone. 2022 i'm making 2022 then 12th month date is the 30 example date is you can take 30 then amount is called zero inr amount is called zero opening balance is zero right here i maintain in the excel opening balance is zero okay let's maintain like example incoming payment first one is called next one is called incoming payment for example in incoming payment what is the accounting entry guys example let's go to your bl 5n bl 5n then uh, click on your execute and uh, example dr means customer invoice dz means customer payment okay so for example if you double click on this line item and click on your document flow so this is the accounting entry guys this is an accounting entry and uh, how much value one lakh twenty thousand everyone <clears throat> while posting the accounting entry while posting the accounting entry don't forget to maintain the value data Value date value is present. So click on your edit. You can maintain the value data. Click on the edit. Maintain value date. Value date means present date, current date. Anyone working in the tally? Tally guys. Value date means in the tally, check clearing date actually. Here in the SAP value date means you can take current date. In the SAP, check enhancement date means clearing date. Anyone working in Tally? Yes, sir. Understood what I'm telling? Is this true? Yes, sir. Yeah. Like uh, incoming payment is a one lakh twenty thousand. Then let's check the vendor invoice. Actually, vendor. Go to FBL one and enter. Then all items. Then execute. This is the vendor, BRS underscore V. KR means vendor invoice, one lakh. KZ means vendor payment, one lakh. One lakh, one lakh is zero. So if you double click on this line item, then click on your doc, otherwise click directly you can click on your means edit. Then here you can maintain the, otherwise do one thing, click on your document flow. So this is the accounting entry will come, okay? So here you can take, double click on like a bank line item click on your edit so here you can maintain value date guys don't forget the value date the time of accounting entry only you can maintain okay where i want to maintain guys example go to f-28 enter so here you can maintain value date here f-28 customer payment here value date value date means current date even uh, f-53 f-53 vendor payment okay so here you can maintain value date here you can take current date while accounting entry posting only you can maintain in case if you forgot you can edit okay
<coughs> now everyone concentrate here everyone concentrate here my dear friends everyone now i need to edit example example next one next one here i want to maintain incoming payment here i want to maintain incoming payment so incoming payment means as usual year month date again month date example guys everyone concentrate here everyone uh, year 2022 month 12th month date 13th date 30 again month again date twice you have to maintain again date i'm can i repeat once again 2022 2022 is the example year and uh, this is the month and this is the date and again month again date it's c means credit then how much it's a one lakh twenty thousand okay same value there one lakh twenty thousand you can maintain whatever incoming payment you can maintain one lakh twenty thousand comma zero zero some this is the algorithm then here you have to maintain reference number like reference number utr number check number any transaction number any anything basically this is the document come from the bank you are not required to enter manual like this okay you are not maintain the real time you don't want to maintain the manually document if this is come from the bank so you can analyze the document directly you can upload into the sap the next one outgoing payment example example 2022 year then 12 month data 30 data and again 12th month 30 data like d means debit d means debit then one lakh you have to maintain here one lakh comma zero zero this is the algorithm okay again reference number in case if you want to give any reference reference number then closing balance closing balance okay again it's a year year month date so twenty thousand closing balance so everyone to write down uh, as this sir even algorithm also yes yes answer is yes uh, means values will going to change now based on your postings values that, uh, algorithm double zero algorithm is the same thank you, thank you. Okay. so everyone understood guys understood can i repeat once again or understood Yeah. Sir. Yeah. yeah very good very good so you can analyze after the document okay so this is the document we want we want to upload into the essay first you can save this document guys do one thing let's save the document first you can save in the sap portal actually you can save in the sap portal I mean, save in your desktop, respective desktop. Okay. Save in the desktop. File name uh, EFM BRS. Save. Okay. You can close this. Everyone, concentrate here, guys. So, this is the document, guys. This is the document. Let's check the year and all. So this document you want to upload. So how to upload? Here in the document, I'm I taken the screenshot here, guys. So go to FM and FF underscore five. FF underscore five. This is electronical BRS upload document upload. So manual BRS upload. What is the T code? Anyone remember? Yeah, 
55 anyone tell me one second yes sir understand sir okay everyone concentrate here guys so here this is the format guys the, this is the format you have to go go to ff underscore file here import the data here import the data okay and you just click on here import the data then format bank statement format this is the format which format you have to take mt940 format you have to take then here statement file here you can upload the file the next one post immediately post immediately then come down here you can take the number range number interval bellner okay number interval you can take 999 like that you can take 999 like that okay maximum number you can take so then click on here execute that's it very simple okay anyway i will show you i will show you go to ff underscore five everyone concentrate here everyone go to ff underscore five t code enter so this is the one guys bank statement version format you must click on here import the data then select here statement here you need to stake mt940 format with the 86 fields this one you need to take this one you have to take actually okay same thing same thing in the document guys same thing in the document fields 86 you need to take okay and uh, statement file you, whatever statement you created now that one you can upload here that one you can upload here so what is my file name guys anyone remember okay this one right fm underscore brs this one yes, based on the algorithm is same yeah and post immediately come down come down here you can take any number range guys for example one two nine 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 you can take any number okay and here also one two nine 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 like that and here you can like this okay you can keep it as it is remaining okay press enter and close simply click on your execute allows see here guys okay So it's updating, posting the document. See here, document has been generated. <clears throat> everyone, everyone, let's see everyone. Concentrate here, guys. Concentrate here. For example, everyone, concentrate here, everyone. For example, uh, outgoing payment. Outgoing payment. One second, guys. I will say some other class. I will say to wait some time. Everyone, outgoing payment. What is the accounting entry, guys? For example, vendor invoice, first vendor invoice. What is the accounting entry? Expenses account data. Account anyone, please tell. Expenses account data to vendor. Vendor. ERS underscore V private limited. Example amount is called one lakh. Same thing you can tell in the interview. One lakh. Then outgoing payment. So what is the accounting entry, guys? BRS underscore V private limited account data. Account data to access bank. Outgoing. 
Outgoing vendor, vendor, outgoing payment account. Here, one lakh and one lakh. One lakh and one lakh. So after BRS, after document upload, BRS upload. What is the accounting entry will come, everyone? Yeah, outgoing account. Access bank. Bank Access bank outgoing account director, main bank account. Outgoing payment account, Hare Krishna. Account data to main, main bank account. Very good, very good. Main bank account. Access bank. Access main bank. One lakh and one lakh. Lack and one lack. Everyone, is this correct accounting entries? Yes, no, okay. Yes, yes. Same accounting entries we need to we want to see action. And you can note it down in the customer side also. Customer side. Customer. Anyone? Let's tell me. Customer invoice. No A customer no. account data to Sales underscore C. Go on mute, sir. You have some disturbance in the noise. Other people can respond. Okay. Customer private limited account C. BRS underscore C. Bole the customer. Hare Krishna. Account data to income. Okay. Here we may take in 1 lakh 20,000 and 1 lakh 20,000. 1 lakh 20,000. Now the incoming payment. Sorry guys, background some noise from me. Please don't mind. Basically, I'm I'm came other other like town. <clears throat> so what is the payment, guys? What is the incoming payment? Access bank. Access bank yes, incoming. incoming. Access bank. Incoming payment. Account data to. BRS. Guys, do you want any any material? Only for 100 rupees. Not required. Huh? Here, 1 lakh 20,000 and 1 lakh 20,000. Okay, next one. After BRS upload, what is the accounting entry? Uh, main bank account data to main bank account data main bank account data to anyone the access incoming access bank Incoming payment. Incoming payment. So let's see this one, guys. So if this is the accounting entries want to generate it, if this accounting entry is generated, then we success. Then no, we fail. So let's see this one: success or fail. Guys, five minutes, sir. Huh? I can close the class. Please wait five minutes. Okay. I mean. Let's bear with me five minutes. I will show you and close it. Okay. So everyone, let's go to everyone. Concentrate here, guys. Go back. Go to FBL 3N. Go to FBL 3N. Press enter. FBL 3N, press enter. Here you can take um, uh, double two, double zero. Sorry, double two, double zero, five zero two, double two, double zero, five two. All items then execute. What is this? Double two, double zero. Access bank. Main bank. Main, Main bank. bank account data to income. Income is outgoing. Very good. Click on here, execute. Everyone, the first one. Access bank, main bank account. How much closing balance, guys? 20,000. Is this true? 
yes sir yes 20000 120000 is the incoming payment customer very good customer 1 lakh is the outgoing payment main bank account is the 20000 and let's see here outgoing payment is zero outgoing payment is a clearing account it is become a zero where is that document it is become a zero so outgoing or incoming which one i am checking outgoing, outgoing payment it's a zero actually let's see here outgoing payment is credit here outgoing payment is debit here debit and credit become a zero are you agree or not yes sir so for example guys let's check the document entry for example kz kz means vendor payment so double click on this line item and click on your display document so what is the accounting entry here uh vendor account data to outgoing payment 525 means debit 50 means credit vendor account data to like uh, vendor account data to outgoing payment so same thing in excel vendor account data to outgoing payment okay so go back double click on second line item click on your document uh, flow so what is the accounting entry 40 means debit 50 means credit outgoing payment account data to main bank account outgoing payment account data to main bank account is this correct guys outgoing payment account data to main bank account okay same thing in incoming also same thing in income okay come down for example guys incoming payment is debit here incoming payment is credit here it become a zero okay same thing come for example go back come down come down everyone come down incoming payment is become a zero every month it want it want to become a zero so dz customer payment this is the customer payment what is that incoming payment account data to customer 40 means debit 15 means credit incoming payment account data to customer and go back and double click on second line item let's click on your details so this is the one 40 means debit 50 means credit main bank account data to incoming payment is this correct guys main bank account data to incoming payment like this so after uploading the document values will become like this so this two gls outgoing payment incoming payment become a zero now the value final value reflected into the main bank account here 20000 in in our, our bank account in the bank account how much balance is there 20000 balance is there anyone any doubts no sir clear thanks everyone thanks for joining let's meet uh tomorrow we can we we'll have the class tomorrow okay yes sir thank you sir